A few nerfs. That's the title of this video, and that's what we'll be talking about. 1.4.4 brought a lot of change to the game, and while there are hordes of new content and changes, there have, of course, been many nerfs. I'll try to cover some obscure but still important nerfs in this video. This isn't all of them, but hey, I tried. So, let's get in. Firstly, the Philosopher's Stone. You can't just cheese Potion Sickness by equipping and de-equipping them anymore, since now it dynamically affects Potion Sickness times. This does make your life slightly harder, but it's not that big of a change, it just makes it as it was intended. It does make this Socrates video redundant, though. It can actually be fully utilized without having to take up a precious accessory slot. They also made Leaf Wings post Plantera, though the wing power has been upgraded to match Flame Wings. It's still weaker than most post Plantera wings, like the Hoverboard and Spectre wings, and it's also 50% more expensive. Not really a nerf, but a change, and given its ease of access, this one is actually reasonable. This slot is reserved for three facts I already talked about in a previous video. 1. Hollowed Armor no longer dodges insta-kills like Daytime Empress, so don't bother using it when you're fighting it anymore. 2. Fledging Wings don't spawn primarily in Sky Chests anymore, instead being a 2.5% drop in secondary loot. If you're unlucky, well then, you gotta fish it. 3. Holy Arrows have been nerfed slightly, so they aren't gonna be as effective as you remember. They're still pretty good, though. The popular drops Soaring Insignia and Gelatinous Pillion have also been nerfed. Soaring Insignia is still great, but it's 25% slower now, and the Pillion got its horizontal speed nerfed by 30%. I myself am not a user of the pillion as I really like my dashes, but this might be one for the pillion users out there. The blade staff now only gets 75% whip tag damage, which is a loss of a few damage points depending on what whip you're using. That's minus 5 damage per hit on the kaleidoscope, which might suck if you're trying to beat daytime EOL using blade staff because every other minion is just too slow. Between this and the hollowed armor change, daytime EOL is going to become much harder now. Maybe people will switch to the Sanguine Staff, though that did itself get a few minor nerfs, and it's also painful to get, so... eh. Whips no longer give melee speed anymore, and their buffs now only apply to whips. This is a bug fix, but it's technically also a nerf. I don't know any but the sweatiest of players using melee whip swaps, just whip whip swaps, so this one won't affect most people. The easiest way to get exclusively stuffed for boss fights to seafood dinner no longer does. It went from 4 minutes of exquisite to 14 minutes of plenty. While this does make it more practical in the long run, the short duration was perfect for boss fights, and now it isn't. F. Razorblade Typhoon got nerfed slightly, with the damage being reduced, mana cost increased, and projectile duration decreased. I still think it'd be a top tier weapon, but just mellowed down slightly. And finally, Obsidian Armor got nerfed even harder, with it losing 20% whip range and 20% whip speed. Quite a sad day for early game summoners, especially those who use their whips a lot. Now, I don't know how these will affect the meta, or if they're even major enough to do so, but so far the update's been pretty great. Most of you seem to like it, though some disagree with one or two features added, which is the opinion that I share. Thank you for watching, subscribe if you enjoyed. Alas, good day and goodbye.